my goodness. Hi, everybody. It's uh, Thursday afternoon, and my name's Erin Strayer, and we have the amazing Mindy <laughs> Quinn with us today. And this is the Perspective Shifters, where we uplift and leverage and optimize you as female entrepreneurs and put out your awesomeness out there to you. Pardon my voice. I was in a conference this weekend, and I went all in, and that was Saturday morning, and this is Thursday, and I still don't have it back. So we're going to play, go. and we're going to work with it. Yeah. Hi, Mindy. How That's are it. you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Yeah. Pardon our late start here, guys. We were working with some, uh, some issues. <laughs> my fault. My fault. We were having some technical issues, but who knew? All For the last, like, three months, I've been using an external camera because my internal camera stopped working. But now, whatever just happened, the external, finally, something finally released, and now my internal's working. So here we are. Happy day. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. And here we are talking about online presence today, right? That's it. That's it. That's it. Don't follow in my footsteps. Be on time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right now, people, we're here to provide you some awesome value and some insight and some tips to keep your online presence authentic and true to you and that's what we're all about and it's super super hard in today's world isn't it mindy i mean these ops this is this is your wheelhouse and this is what you do and this is how you help female well more than females right but it's all about me so <laughs> um you know how how we stay true to ourselves and how we you know, stay professional and how we stay consistent in this world of this online world now that's this great big sea in this ocean of wowness and how do you be seen and all right. of that. So, gosh. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. Um, and just just about an hour ago, I went live on my personal page and then shared it to my business page. But I was talking about all that's going on in the world and how much negativity is out there and you know, just how we're all so inundated with so many messages. It's hard to not get caught up in being sad about so many things going on right now. And, oh. you know, so I, my, I put out there, um, anyone who wants to put some good out in the world, if they're doing anything good in their area and their community, and they want me to do a press release for them, I would love to get, you know, the media focusing on some more of the good that's happening. Um, I'm not yeah. taking away from the bad, but man, it's hard. It's hard to wake up and be motivated and excited when you look at the news and life it's is hard. all doldrums and it's tough. Yeah. And it's heartbreaking. And, you know, when, when, when it comes back around to it, you know, all of this, there's good that comes out of all this bad at the end of the day. Right. But while you're in it and you're in the muck of it, it's really, really difficult. So, yeah, that's, um, that's beautiful that that's something that you're willing to do if people have awesome stuff that they want to put out there and, yeah. and put, some, put some sparkle in the in the in the darkness. Right. Let let Mindy help you. You know, if that's something that uh, you guys want to do, man, she's right there. She already offered it. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you'll put your, yeah, I, I'm huge with, you know, my guests putting their links and how to contact you, but we're going to, oh, um, okay. yeah, we're going to, we're going to dump right, we're going to dump, we're going to jump right into, let's go, to, um, yeah, what we're going to talk about today, and if you guys yeah. are on here live with us, we really thank you, make sure you say hello and let us know that you're here, and by all means, if this is of value to yourself, your team, your surroundings, your people in your cubicles, other people that, um, that you you coach or that you you instruct, uh, make sure that you share this video because it's going to be full of value and Mindy's going to be bringing some stuff front and center for us today, <laughs> like we always yeah. do here at the Perspective Pictures and teach, you know, and and, and apply, you know. And I'm inviting us, some um, people things. while we're chatting. Awesome! I love yes. that. Please yes. do that. Let them join us live here and uh, and uh, yeah, play with us and interact and and uh, yeah. So Mindy owns a massive um, media management promotion company called Wildflower, Flower, which I absolutely adore her. <laughs> her her stuff. And once you see her logo, if you've never seen it before, you will know it immediately, and it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank I you. love that I could just pick you out of uh, of everywhere you're at just by 
just by your branding and it's it's absolutely beautiful and stunning and and um she does tons and tons of outreach you guys she does she's very influential in the nonprofit um sector as well as um you know a lot of school projects you know k through 12 a lot of extended um education projects that she does a lot of gosh you know that just that just kind of is the tip of the iceberg for you miss mindy and, <laughs> and who you yeah, are <laughs> yeah yeah and how you change people's worlds just by your you know how you show up and hey christy mo good to see you honey nice to see you excited to hear what you can learn yeah up on so where do you want to start what can i yeah. you know yeah so you know um we talked about um some of the things that you wanted to talk about were you know being consistent and yep. uh, but you got to you got to be clear before you're consistent right yeah so, yeah so yeah sure so my my um i come from the corporate world even though it was nonprofit i come from brick and mortar you know buildings where i worked in the marketing department or always had a role where i was um on camera, you know, yeah. the voice for the organization. So I, I come from that world and I'm trying to help people incorporate it into their online world because PR is PR is PR, whether it's online or whether it's on the street. Um, and I'm not your traditional PR girl, um, but there are some things that I'm pretty, um, that holds, you know, tried and true, you know, and, and that is clarity, consistency, authenticity, and professionalism. Those are like the four key points that, that I always want to preface because, um, you know, in this online world, we tend to get caught up in feeling so comfortable. There's not someone sitting there in front of us. We're talking to a machine versus another human and and sometimes we're much more lax and carefree about what we might say what we might do um and even even for me i know like when i do my lives there'll be times where i look back and i'm like oh little things like i was playing with my hair the whole time how that looks after you know those yeah. little nuances that, that that takes practice and when you're you know going into your local tv um, studio to go on live. Some of the things you practice are, you know, not fidgeting. But sure. when it comes to messaging, messaging, I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself struggling right now. The last few weeks in particular, because I'm watching so many people all the time, because it's what I do, and I am critiquing. Yeah. And there are times yeah. where I just want to pick up the phone and call someone and say, "Girl, what?" What are you doing? I've been watching you for six months and now you just shifted. Not to say we can't shift. We all grow. We all shift. We all expand. We branch off, whatever it may be. But sometimes I'm finding that people are not consistent with their message and they actually will do the exact opposite of what maybe they've been suggesting for months on end. And, you know, from from my perspective, from the public relations perspective, perspective, if I'm out there observing you online and I am a potential journalist or news anchor and I want to, you know, follow your story, when I see that lack of consistency, that's a red flag right off the bat. Yeah. And so, you know, the, the authenticity and the consistency mesh, really, because if you're being true to you, no matter how much your brand may shift, you should still be you. The authentic you should still be there. So if there's a dramatic shift, you either weren't being authentic originally or you've lost your authenticity and you're on a wrong path altogether. Um, my personal feelings. Um, and, I, and I take it very, very seriously because there are so many people fighting for work in this world of online right now. Um, and you really want to make sure you're working with top notch people. And so, you know, I, I encourage anyone who's got an online business and who is continually pitching themselves online to make sure that you're always 
clear, consistent, and authentic. Um, being professional, that has different levels. You know, professionalism, it, you know, if your target audience is a real laid back, let's drink a beer and, you know, rock out kind of crowd, hey, cool. But, you know, I, I'm not saying that you should always be prim and proper and, and not curse and all of that because we know that I drop some F-bombs now and then and can get right we in there with everybody that. else. <laughs> exactly. So this isn't, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't equate professionalism to vocabulary. But when I talk about professionalism, I'm talking about more about respect, um, you know, being courteous, being empathetic to others. Um, uh, yes, Christy, it does. Absolutely. It's about integrity. Um, it is all encompassing. And I'm really, really struggling. Some of my clients are online that I've met through a lot of these groups. And some of them are not. They happen to find me through online ways, but they are brick and mortar. And there's such a difference in how I interact with them and how work gets done. Just because, you know, when you work from home and you can be in your pajamas and the dog can be barking and, you know, you can have tech issues like I'm dealing with, you're in a different, from my experience, a different mindset. Sure. Sure. But you can still show up. You know, I think it goes back to um, from where I'm sitting. I've been in the corporate world as well as, you know, my home based business. I've been in both. And um, it is a mindset. It is mm -hmm. how you show up. It is that consistency that you were talking about, Mindy, which I'm 100% and Christy's right on. It's that integrity that holds you in that regardless of where you go. Do you, do you find that true with your Absolutely. people? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And I, yeah. and I struggle because I, I really, if I don't see it there, I'm not going to work with you. I'm just not because for me, it's, um, Integrity is all that matters. That's the bottom line. If you're in it for the wrong reasons, I can't support it. I just can't. Everybody has bills to pay and I get it. But ultimately, if you're not doing something good in the world, <laughs> if you're just taking and just asking or, you know, just looking to rise to the top, you're not someone that is going to gel with me. Um, yeah. That's not to say that people who are out there just to make money, don't have integrity. Let's not, I don't want to, <laughs> thank you, Christy. There are plenty of people out there, plenty of people out there who are making lots of money, who don't necessarily give back. It doesn't mean they don't have integrity. It just might not me be to the level that I look for in a client. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and isn't it funny how, how quickly we move from that place of lack where we have to take every single client that even says, Mindy, I need you, you know, regardless of if it lines up or not with you, right? To moving into that place of, man, I'm going to learn from that last person that I never should have taken on in the first place <laughs> to right here. And I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to be consistent with myself and I'm going to know and I'm going to believe in myself and who I am as a, a person of what I provide. Absolutely. I have to look in the mirror and feel good about what I'm doing. I, I'm a mom to two boys and everything I do, they're in the back of my mind. Always, 24-7. Yeah. Every decision yeah. I make is, kind of how does it impact them? them? And exactly, what kind of a role model am I? Whether they know about it or not is regardless, but they are my driving force. Yeah, yeah. So are there um, little... Mm, tips or things that you follow through to for people to you know once they figure out that, what they're standing for and they're clear on what they're doing to stay consistent is there is there is there little tips that you give for that well, and stay in their stay in their lane basically yeah and you know um there there are i mean for for people that i work with one on one i will sometimes remind them <laughs> that's my that's my job in PR is to make sure that you as a client have the right messaging. Um, yeah. And so I'll provide talking points. And it, it's your words. It's what you've been wanting and what you're working for. I take it all in and then I make sure that 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 gets back out there the right way. Um, what I would tell someone is, you know, if you have to, I'm looking on my 
screen while, while I'm saying this, open up like your little sticky notes or whatever, and just write down what your key um, values are and make sure they're always in front of you and make sure that yeah. you always look back at them or have pictures around you that represent what it is you're working for, especially when you're an online business. And if you are at home, surround yourself with the things that keep you focused with your values. Um, so that, that that messaging is always kind of like right there. Um, I tend to be very organized, except I work in a mess, if you were to see my table right now. But the mess that I'm working in, and I'll, and I'll show you. I've got my kids, <laughs> one of their pencil boxes right here. It's always right here, because if I need a pencil, I use one of theirs. I've got a book that I will reference time and time again. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. <laughs> but, you Love know, that. I'm surrounded by pictures and pets and things that are part of my everyday. And it keeps me, it keeps me focused, not just on what my clients are doing, but what ultimately I want to be doing and how I can be moving forward in that direction. That's awesome. That's awesome. I know I have things on my, on my wall that's right here behind my screen also, you know, that are, um, you know, action plans and, and affirmations and, um, you know, my step and my calendar is right up there. So it's quickly referenced. I don't have to, you know, if I'm on my mobile device, I don't have to pull up my mobile. It's right there on my wall and I can just glance at it. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. things to keep me tight, you know, tight and, and, you know, right in, in here. And I don't have to leave to go. I don't have to leave to go get a pencil. <laughs> you know, I don't, right. I don't have to. It's just right. things to keep consistent and in the moment. So, yeah. And when so. you know enough about yourself, I mean, it, it, it tends to kind of flow. Um, yeah. if you are being authentic, you know, yeah. it, it'll be there. It doesn't, you know, I don't have a little post-it note sitting here saying, you know, do good things. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, but, but, right. but sometimes we get caught up in a lot of what else is going on around us and we forget. So I, I always suggest that for anyone who is running a business online or trying to get out into the media, out into the real world media, um, you know, to always have your messaging ready to go and be consistent and always have it written down. Even, you know, the, the best of us forget what we wanted to say or we'll forget that one key thing that could have made or broke, you know, um, that live stream. What, whatever it is, you know, you always want to be prepared. Yeah. Yeah, and I think when you're prepared to not only on paper, I find, um, but also mentally, mm -hmm. you know, those two line up, yeah, and make it so you're not you're not missing the mark, you right. know, you're not you don't get off on the rabbit hole and you're down <laughs> in somebody else's authenticity and not your own, you know. Right, and that's that's another piece. So many people are out there that it's hard to differentiate. How do you separate yourself from everybody else, but stay true, um, but stay true to who you really are? And that's a challenge for everybody these days. Yeah. It's, there's so many people that we're all, you know, and, and that's why it's always about community over competition, because there's enough people out there that you'll have business. So, you know, don't, don't stop. You'll get there, but please be authentic, be true yeah. to you and, and be consistent. Yeah. I know one of my other guests uh, prior had said there's 6 billion people in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's 6 billion people in the world and right. everybody needs something. And right. there's never going to be enough coaches to provide that something for them. Right. So, you know, so, you're you have to click it. and everybody clicks with, you know, something different. Exactly. Yeah. So your, your tribe, your people, they're out there. Yeah. Um, don't, don't try so hard to be something that you're not. Um, but again, with, with, you know, that online presence, it really does it. And look, I'm not consistent myself in terms of how often I'm visible. Um, in fact, I had my weekly broadcast and I haven't been, I haven't done my master Monday now in almost 12 weeks. Um, wow. So, yes. So, you know, 
I hate to even say it, I have to get back to it, but I feel like so many people are now doing what I was doing that I don't want to go back to doing it the way that it was. And I haven't come up with my new plan yet. Um, and that's part of it because, you know, I, I don't, I want to be providing information that's truly beneficial and not something that you're going to see everywhere else. Yeah. And um, in some of these groups that we run in, we're, while there might be lots of people in the groups, there's really only a small number who are as consistently visible yeah. as you are, as, you know, Samantha Parker and Kathy Rasmussen, as Kelly Service. You know, there's a handful of people that are always, always out there. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I wonder what, what are the rest of the people in these groups doing and why are they not getting visible? And if it's because they're scared and they don't know where to start, you know, they need to they need to get on that. <laughs> right. Just right. do it. We need to challenge them. We need to challenge them, Mindy. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. So if people like, can you kind of walk me through, like if people were wanting to hire you, what does that mm -hmm. look like? Are you even taking new clients or what does that journey with you look like? Um, from a, a marketing? It's different for everyone. It's yeah. different. I do um, public relations and I do event creation. Um, and then I can do some social media management. Social media management is not my passion. I do it. It's not my passion. So I'm not yeah. looking to take that on. I have a hard enough time coming up with my own content. Forget yeah. anyone else's. Sure. Um but um, the public relations piece, um, and it's funny because I started to write an article. I, I don't view myself as a traditional public relations um, publicist, I guess, because when you're my client, I'm not just sending out press releases. I'm concerned about not just your appearance to the public, you know, a traditional PR firm, you know, they're there for spin control. Oh, my gosh, we need to make sure that your company is always seen in the best light. I view it as my job is to make sure that the public knows who you are. And I also manage your relationships with other people. Um, and I can give you an example. Sure. Um, Badassery Magazine has publicly said that they are one of my clients. Um, and so as a perfect example, and I hope Sam doesn't mind me sharing this, but they recently interviewed uh, Denise Duffield Thomas. That podcast dropped on Tuesday. Well, Sam and Kathy are going to see her live, and I didn't know that. So when I was setting up the podcast, I would have also tried to arrange for them to meet in person when they're going to see her live. And that's how I, as a PR person, manage your relationships. It's not just making sure that Denise knows who you are, but that she knows you're coming to see her and make that yeah. happen. Um, so awesome. I'm still trying to make that happen for them because it's not until October. But so, so I take PR to a different kind of level. Um, I want to yeah. make sure that your relationships with the people that you're connecting with last long term. You're not just doing a one-off interview. You're going to have some long-term potential. So working with me, um, I have hourly rates and I have packages, and it really depends on what you're looking to do. And I have nonprofit rates and I have for-profit rates. And I'm very, very flexible. I will tell you that I love connecting people. And there are several people who I know would, would come on and vouch. Before you spend any money with me, if there are people that I can just connect you to to help you, I'm going to do that first. Um, because that's what I do. I'm not just going to say, here, sign this, give me money, and then introduce you to people that I may know in the business that you're trying to get into. Um, yeah. I've got a young, a young 21 year old gentleman out of Wisconsin who's trying to get into the music industry. And, and he and his dad have been trying to, you know, hook up with me to get, you know, to get going. And I've introduced this kid to several other musicians and I've sent him to several other resources first to get a better handle on who he is before he even does anything with me. So I really like to connect people. Yeah. Yeah. So um, will you do me a favor when we're done here and, and drop some, if people want to, you know, if they're watching the replay of this and they want to reach out to you, yeah, um, they can just click on the link and reach out to you. Yeah. Um, that would be spectacular. Sure. Um, 
we're going to wind this up, Mindy. I really, really, really appreciate you being here on live no with us problem. on the Shifters Network and um, providing unbelievable. I mean, I love my guests that I bring on here because every single one of them just comes in two feet in all all in their awesomeness and provides value that's just unbelievable value and i really appreciate you being here live with us here on the shifters and um, um you guys again if you're watching the replay and you got questions or comments make sure to drop them in the links we'll loop back around and make sure we get to those if this is something that you feel like you should share with your people again please by all means share this out to your friend, friends yeah. and your network people um because we all need to be able to show up authentic in our own skin true to ourselves with clarity and consistency and professional at the same time. So um, exactly. again, thank you so, again, thank you so, so much for being with us, Mindy. I super appreciate All right. it. And, thank you. Yeah, thank All you. All right. So there goes the dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Erin. Thanks. Okay. Have a great afternoon. Bye.